Hello, everybody, and welcome or welcome back to Brotato, the arena survival action roguelike itself. We are going to be playing the infinite again here today, which is the character that I created that has positive and negative randomized traits. So they are completely different every time. You may notice that I have slightly changed them since yesterday as well. I'm still testing this to see how I truly feel, but instead of getting two positive and two negative quirks, now they get two to three randomly modified positive quirks and one to three random negative quirks. So there is a world where you get more negative than positive, but on average, you get slightly more positive than negative. So we're going to be going in with a random weapon, which appears to be the shotgun. Doesn't mean we're going to stick with it. Well, boy, howdy. I mean, that seems like a promising start. We got lucky. Interesting. So six HP regen down, five max HP down, 15 luck up, five melee damage up, and a free legendary that also comes with a minus 10 harvesting penalty to try and make it a little bit less busted, but it's still obviously busted to start with a freaking legendary. Estee's couch. All right. Okay. This is, there's a very clear plan and strategy for what we want to do with this. So Estee's couch gives us the five max HP to kind of uh, deal with that there. But yeah, that that's a pretty straightforward thing. Uh, we, we're going to go with low speed, but melee. Uh, because we do get the free melee damage to start as well. So we'll pivot out of this son of a gun. But, like, let's take a hit here and see how quick we get our regen. That is really good. <laughs> that is obviously very, very good. Uh, so I'm going to recycle my shotgun immediately. Because we do get three free rerolls in this shop here. And with that, I'm going to pretty much be looking for... I was going to say, for any melee weapon... That's not the case. You know, we can take weird ghost for sure. The question is just like, do I want to go ghost axe? I, I will for now. Like, I'll go a little bit of ghost axe. That sounds decent enough. But the problem with that is it also gives us armor down. Like, I can take hits and it won't matter too much. But we can pivot this into something a little bit spicy here. Uh, but what was it? Yeah. Five melee damage as well, which, you know, it sounds really good. It's it's not bad. It's not as exciting as it sounds, though. That's like, you know, a blue, slightly better than a free blue rank melee damage upgrade. But the, the thing that's obviously busted about today is the high roll of getting the legendary, even with the penalty. We also high rolled three positives. This is, this is a good day, gang. This is a really good day for this. Uh, Alien Eyes might be a plan as well. Like, I don't want to just go HP and Chopper again, but I'm not going to lie. That's a good idea. Like, if all I wanted was to, you know, just win. God dang. Freaking Ghost Flints out in full force. Just wanted to win. I think that that would actually be a pretty viable strategy here but yeah i'm trying to think what else we can do with speed down like now obviously we're not gonna love i uh, what is it power generator today we're probably gonna say no to that son of a gun but we're kind of just like a walk and talk in uh heal and regen tank we don't really need to care about pretty much any source of regeneration like keeping ourselves alive i'll take some flat damage I'll take coffee, sure. Uh, weird axe. I'll take the... Wait, weird axe? What? <laughs> ghost axe. Weird ghost. <laughs> can't lose. All right. Speaking of can't lose, I don't know. Like, this is, this is a great start. You can get some pretty trash starts, but boy, this is not one of them. Uh, as I eventually, like buff up and uh, change up or not buff up change up this character over the course of time like there's gonna be more perks in the pool currently there's like 50 or 60 um i've been adding more each day oh boy and eventually it's gonna be less likely that you get the legendary on top of the fact that i'll probably do something else to it you know 10 harvesting is it's annoying it's rough like, that adds up to the price of the item over the course of time if you never fix it. 
Like if you never fix that, that's you lose 200 bucks, which is a lot. That's that's about the the price of the item. However, if you just grab like a blue rank harvesting pickup, it's basically nullified. Over this attack speed's going to be huge here. Oh baby, bring it. Gentle alien, sure thing. Coupon go stacks. But yeah, I, I don't know. I've, I've been really enjoying this character. Like, I wake up in the morning and I'm like, you know what? I kind of want to play Brotato just for me. Like, I will I found myself multiple times going in to test out the character just to see what kind of stuff we get. Just to be like, does this new modifier I added, like, does it work? And then I'm like, oh shoot, I just did an entire run of Brotato. Like, on accident. I, I wasn't... I wasn't planning on this. Choppa choppa. I do want to get this fool. Should be pretty easy. We are going to have uh, worse and worse armor. But I feel like that's kind of the way I want to play it here. I'm going to say no to that. Yes to coffee. I don't hate dodge. At all. In fact, I love dodge. Like, I'll get alienize. Take an alien worm too. Sure, why not? Even more HP regen. It becomes like not redundant at a certain point, but there is diminishing returns on HP regen. So the more we get, the less it means. Like by all accounts, this looks like a free one run, but there's like a there's a tiny little weird hill we have to climb if we're doing it this way. Um, and that's like we gotta deal with the fact that. Yeah, we heal up really quickly, but we're also very slow and take lots of damage when we get hit. Around, like, wave 10, if we take a hit, we're going to get absolutely exploded if we don't do something big. So I intend to do something big, but for now... I mean, starting with Esty's couch, like, here's the thing about that item. It's... It's so good. Ooh! That's spicy! That's spicy. I mean, we're getting what? One every 0.4, one second. That is the spiciest possible way we could take this. All right. So we heal up faster than we, um, than we lose health, obviously. It's gonna sound like we're dying all the time. Good God, I wish we were, um, who's it, what's it? Either like the bull or, Heesh. That's, like, that's a massive hit to survivability. Oh, my word. Uh, the bull or freaking masochist. I will say there is a positive quirk that you can get that is uh, like masochist's passive on like a random scale. Oh, I like you could say that I threw by taking that and you're not wrong. But also I am trying to turn this into... An exciting run to watch. I don't want it to just be like, all right, and we won. <laughs> you know, like, I could go bore and go tanky. I'm going to take the triple of that. Maybe with the harvest thing, I'll take a gentle alien. Uh, rip and tear is weird. That's an interesting angle. Tell you what, I will take this because now that we are taking a full damage every second, obviously, like we can fix it, but it's important to remember that this went down a lot. Like, our HP regen just got tanked by taking it. And since there's diminishing returns over the course of time, I'll take Rip and Tear. I'll, I'll give it a go. Well, it's kind of bad. It's kind of bad with this. It's not bad if we pivot out into a different melee weapon. Should turn on explosions, since there's not going to be too many. I have it off by default, and then, like, I'll turn it on if I get a build that doesn't have lots of explosions, but has enough where I'm like, ooh, I really want to see them. Yeah, look how wild this got. All of a sudden, things are looking a little spooky, which is good. 
And by a little bit spooky, I mean really just like a little bit. But going from practically like unkillable seeming into this seems pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The writing is on the wall that we have to change something though, because damage scales up from enemies over the course of the run. Uh, what the hell? This is really lucky, but also kind of weird. All right, what, what's an explosive? Is there an explosive melee weapon? Yeah, there is. There's a couple. I'll take it on prospect. It's bad until it's not. This is bad until it's not. This run is unhinged. This is absolutely unhinged. So they do 25 damage right now. I mean, we're going to want to scale up our flat melee. The dream here would be that we get... Um, I, I kind of want to do like a power fist build. That'd be the dream, I'd say. So obviously the explosions are kind of sort of stealing a lot of my thunder here. Not that we're really missing out on a lot of thunder. We just want to get in really close so that they die via the axe and not the explosion for now. It's going to require us to be a little bit risky. Man, I, I'm just so happy with this. I, I Like, I'm not trying to just, like... I'm not trying to gloat. I'm just trying to say how pleased I am, like... How much this has reinvigorated my interest in woo, playing more Bortado. I hate this mod. This mod sucks. This mod sucks. It's terrible. How much it's reinvigorated my uh, interest in playing. <laughs> in playing Brotato. Because you look at yesterday's run, you look at today's run. These are two runs I can safely say I have never played in Brotato. Like, no way. Another alienize is a little bit weird. It's not bad. It's good for us with the... Uh, like, I know we can get more speed down to get more HP regen, but I think that's bait. I really do. However, snail is snail is a really safe way to do it. Alien eyes. I'll take another one. I have faith. We will we will turn this into something later. We will find an explosive weapon that is a melee explosive weapon. Oh my god, I just realized that uh if we kill somebody with alien eyes, they might explode from rip and tear. That is interesting. That is very, very interesting. Oh, baby. Two early legendaries. I mean, one one we know why. The other one was just very, very lucky. The Kind of. I mean, explosive runs... I'm, it's only lucky if it turns lucky later, like, and we get the build for it. Otherwise, I would say that it's making our run actively worse at the moment. Because I would rather have my axes be stronger than my explosions right now, but I, you see that item that early, you have to take it. It's a build-around item, like Esty's couch is. Okay, like, I'm happy we're finding these ghost axes. But I'll tell you what, I want to pivot out to that. More life steal, more enemies. I'll do it. Taser. Hatchet missile. If you find recycling machine before your first uh, elite or horde wave, you take it. It's the law. Shoot. Yeah, I would love, 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 love. If the dream, if we could pivot this into Power Fist or uh, Plasma Sledgehammer, but probably I would prefer Power Fist to be faster. God forbid I could potentially see this being a plank build. Like that early of explosive rounds, it could probably be a plank build. 
boop. And like building up all of the uh, ooh, the axes first. Before that, god dang, man. We need armor. We're negative five armor. Uh. Ow. Everything hurts. At least we heal back up from it so fast. And we have a lot of dodge so that, you know, we might just completely ignore the hits. That'll be a wake-up call when we lose our axes. If we lose our axes. Um, I'll take this for sure. Like, with a slow build, we really want that. Tractor pays for itself, but does that... How much does that matter? Starting with 15 luck, I think I think did help us a decent amount. Uh, I feel bad about that. Oh yeah, yeah. Hunting trophy. I just I don't want to. <laughs> is that is that bad? I don't feel like it. Ugly tooth is another like. If I'm going to take speed, oh, I got him first. I actually don't know. I don't know that I can kill him. He's just such an annoying freaking addition to the game. I freaking hate him, man. Uh, like, the other mini bosses, like, even the summoner. When you have that the summoner like that in this game, and you have an enemy that is somehow more annoying, you know that something's up. Good God, I needed to dodge that or I die. Please. Stop it. Dodging at two miles an hour is absurd. This is so stressful. I've never been, like, so confident I uh, in my survivability and so not confident in it at the same time. Jesus. <laughs> we need to fix something so bad. Oh, my God. Okay, that's a really good get. Flaming Brass Knuckles had me excited. LOL. This. I tell you what. I'm going to take metal. I know it's a speed upgrade, which is an attack damage downgrade in a way. I think it's worth. I don't know if we're ever going to be able to pivot out here. To another, to an actual explosive melee weapon. But at this point, I'm so invested in my melee weapons that it makes no sense to do anything else other than melee. And if I'm pivoting out, I kind of just like, I don't know. I'm kind of like, why bother pivoting to something else than an explosive weapon, right? Like I want to make it, I want to make value out of that freaking, that freaking explosive rounds a legendary we picked up. It's only lucky if we actually get a useful explosive weapon. Otherwise it's, it's literally a bad item to have. It makes us weaker until then. It obviously upgrades uh, Rip and Tear, which I hope we can find another one. Ow. Ow. I hope we can find another Rip and Tear, because they stack now in, like, a really nice way. Ow. This is so stressful. Kate, I'll check what you're sure. I'll take another freaking alien eyes. Why not? Oh, boy. Just because alien eyes could make it work. Rocket launcher is doing how much? 70. doing less damage, but it is doing it at a range. Tell you what, I'm, I'm taking it for the tag. I'll take it for the tag. If we have it, we'll be more likely to find uh, another explosive weapon. 
We're gonna pivot out into doing the AoE bullets right now, which is so annoying. So anti-melee. I'm, I'm, I'm dead here. Maybe? Maybe. It's, it's the hosts. Uh-oh. We just unleashed a lot of them. Yeah, he's back to shooting bullets. Gotta play Undertale here for a minute. Uh, please. Definitely not stressful. No siree! <laughs> okay, give me this. Give me that. Give me that. Uh, don't give me that. Okay. That was more of a play for later. Fun thing is, I guess um, Rocket Launcher can explode and kill enemies to then proc my rip and tear, which is interesting. But we're at the point where I, I am cool to pivot out of Ghost Axe. It is important to remember that, you know, Rocket Launcher does AoE. You know, it's like AoE from a distance. Every melee weapon does AoE, though. However, melee weapons are just pretty much, for the most part, just worse than ranged weapons in this game. Not always. Not in every situation. But for the most part, I would say that that's mostly true. I hope to God you guys appreciate that I decided to turn this into an exciting run instead of a, a boring brain-off victory. Because boy, is this... this is this high stakes. Um, I kind of don't want elemental damage down in case I go for... Or in case I get, like, plasma sledgehammer. Thank you. Nuke launcher! It's... Ah, it sucks, though, because it's not a melee weapon. I have, 50, I have 31 melee damage. Uh, I could take Fist as well to try and... I'll tell you what, I'm going to. I'm going to try and influence the shop to give me... So we're now we're tagged for Explosive and Unarmed, of which Power Fist is both. Okay. I think the Nuke Launcher is going to fix it all for us. <laughs> I think that this is what we've been stacking up that percentage damage for. Like, here's the thing. We could just pivot into getting more, like, range damage elemental and stuff like that. It's, hurting. it's happening too fast. It's hurting my eyes. But... Quality of life. Let's just turn that off. So, yeah. Gone is now the time of the run where I care about the scaling desperately that we get from Ghost Axe. It has provided us with a lot of value, and it is time to move on to bigger and better things. Probably worth it to get a little bit of a speed up. I wouldn't mind taking another, like, HP uh, regen upgrade or so. And then, uh, rocking a. Yeah, HP regen up and speed up together. Oh, God. Well, I want. Because uh, this is the 12% HP regen down. That's too bad. Aye, aye, aye. Alright, I'm, I'm done with buying ghost axes. No. Oh. I'll get that in a bit. <laughs> Triangle of Power is such a throw. Oh <gasps> boy, that is big. Okay. Double HP regen if we're under half. We need more, like, flat health. Like, I want to get a big HP pickup. 
and then take handcuffs right after. Because I'm not, like, 52 is not enough health for Brotato, which is funny. But, like, handcuffs is a great way to just, like, immediately buff the hell up our, um, our nuke launcher. Okay. Bloop. I don't know, gang. Like, this could totally... Like, this is a strong run, and we got a lot going for us, but it's volatile. Like, this this dies to two hits from the boss. Like, a reminder. This run is so mediocre for the boss. Uh, I'll take that. Ricochet? Ricochet. Oh, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to be going for that or not. I'm going to I'm gonna trash, because I don't know. I don't know the angle I'm taking for that. Take another one of those. Fine. Boy. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. <laughs> also, can we talk about the fact that it is doing 54 damage? Where are you, Plank Defenders, right now? It has a 60% advantage over the Fist. Yes, I know the Fist is a blue rank weapon. That is a 60% free advantage. And it still is doing half as much. Where are you, Plank Defenders? Where are you now? Oh, my God. Uh, eh, we keep on finding Flaming Brass Knuckles. We might need a little bit more in the way of an... Like, I just can't. I can't keep locking handcuffs and not taking it. I'm going to take it on Wave 19. I think... Oh, freaking potato. I don't know. It's just never it's never exciting to buy potato. I'm not like, ooh, pog champ. 3 HP, 1 HP regen, 1 life steal, 3 damage, 3 speed, 3 dodge, 1 armor, 5 luck. But it's obviously like not bad. There's obviously There's nothing wrong with it. But I'm like, do I want to spend 234 bucks on it? It's gonna give us uh, some HP regen. It gives us HP regen as well. I'll take it. Oh, boy. We'll take... Okay, so this... We should be able to finally kill this boss. If... Well... This is the one of the worst waves for us to have an elite on, but I think we're going to be fine. Oh, Ave Maria. Okay, free legendary... Free legendary in the books. Okay. We should be fine now. God, I am... I am so ready to die on the final boss. And you want to know why? Why we're going to have that happen? It's going to be because of the freaking blood donation item. It's just like, it's just, just because, oh, this is my legendary? I don't want that. No, not at all. Triangle of power is a throw. Heart is great. Ooh. That was probably about as good as that could have gone. Mammoth? It depends if I get the freaking Power Fist. I'm going to buy this roll once. Power Fist. No. If I got the Power Fist, I would take this in a heartbeat. I might still take it. It gives us a speed downgrade, which is not inherently bad. I think it's good. It's a good take. Because clearly we're not going to be able to pivot all of our weapons by the final boss. And we have a lot of... Okay, like... This wave should be easy. Well, when we get the big boys showing up, it's going to be a little bit worse. But this should die pretty quick. Okay. 
The buffed tentacles still takes so long to die. I don't know. I wish the buff was not like a percentage thing. I wish it was a flat increase. Well, nah. I wish it was hand selected per enemy. That's what I wish. It's a little tediously high for some enemies. Yeah, we, we, we've, we've gotten strong. Don't get me wrong. Just, But I have to... My eyes have to be fixed to the screen here. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. I have handcuffs. Alright, well, we can trash... Um, We can trash HP now if there's a like something that shows up for it like that. <laughs> I mean that might go a long way for us. I wish I had another explosive weapon, but the truth is that's probably worth If I buy that, I can't buy anything else anyway, so let's take a look here. I would rather have another Alien Eyes. That's where I'm at right now. Sue me. All right. Moment of truth. Okay. The damage is... Hogan. Oh, my. He's going to start running. Thank God for that dodge. We take so much damage from the bosses. Okay, snail plus um, ugly tooth. Great situation. Okay. Die for me, big boy! Okay, one down. Wanna go? Oh, no, no, no. We gotta bob and weave in and out. It's another... Anti melee, anti melee, anti melee character. Who would have thought? All right, I'm really happy with that run. Not just, not because it was strong, but because I took this setup that I could have just saw and be like, "Well, Esty's couch." Well, like as far as legendaries to get immediately, Esty's couch is great because it isn't. It is a legendary that if you find it midway through a run, it's probably terrible. Probably. But if you get it right away and you get to intentionally build for it, it's broken. <laughs> it's a broken item. But I saw that and I was like, all right, here's my time to finally take blood donation. Which is an item that honestly I think deserves a... It's weird. It deserves a buff, but it's like it's already the strongest item you could ever get on Masochist or... Um, well, I don't even think... I don't know. I think it's overrated on Masochist, but it's the strongest item you could probably get on both. It's really good on Masochist, but probably the strongest thing you could get on both. Um, either way, though, dang, man, that was a very fun run. Another infinite run under the belt. If we cared about streaks, this would be a streak of two. Um, but I don't know. I don't want it to be that because I don't want to... The thing is, if I care a lot about streaks... I don't know if I would have made the choice to uh, pick up blood donation there. And I'm glad we did. Like, I think it was it was in an interesting take. Uh, I think that, you know, I got a lot of stuff that I was hoping was going to manifest into a build later, but it didn't really shake out. Either way, alas, alas, that is that. That's going to do it here for today. Again, if you have any suggestions for quirks, positive or negative, for the infinite, do leave them in the description or the description in the comments down below. If you alternatively, if you have a name for if this character was a real character, what do you think they would be called? That's another question I have for you here today. It's one I'll probably ask in every video here. If the character we picked today was a character if the, that we got randomized, what would their name be? Comment down below as well as leaving any ideas for positive or negative quirks. Nothing that's going to be like, make this new item or a positive quirk that has a mandatory negative quirk with it, like, full on. Like, because that's just, I mean, as you can see, that's just not how the character works. It's pulled from a random pool, um, that kind of situation. But alas, alas, 
that is that. That's going to do it here for today. Thank you for watching. Check out the channel for Roguelikes and more every single day. And I will see you next time. Bye.